I am George Daigle, and in the studio with me is the one and only EJ the DJ. Good morning, sir. Oh, I got my name back. <laughs> EJ the DJ, I like that. Yes, indeed. We are here, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time. A lot of you listen in. I see you turn on the feed at exactly around this time because you know you can see where you're listening from what time you're listening in how long you're listening in all that good stuff i'm not being nosy i just want to know who listening <laughs> so i see a lot of you turn the radio on right about now because you want to get in people's business and that <laughs> that's what we're about to do we're about to read this letter out loud ladies and gentlemen we call it our scenarios and situations we read your letters out loud and give you our honest open opinions and advice on all of it and if you want to write us a letter you're welcome to do so at w-e-r-u radio at gmail.com and in the subject line write scenarios and situations now for our disclaimer we are not licensed sociologists psychologists psychotherapists or any of those ists however we do have a bevy of life experience to pull from we know a lot because we have seen a lot that's how we go help you girl <laughs> however if you feel that you need deeper further analysis please seek out a mental health professional or a spiritual advisor. Now, EJ. Yes. This letter, this letter finna be fire. Uh oh. It's, we finna light him <laughs> up. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying what I'm saying. So Let's all right. Go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> and the letter reads as follows: My girlfriend's sister's friend. Y'all got that? My girlfriend's sister's friend. Okay. He is 20 years old. Now, he lives out of town, but visits often-ish to see his family. About three months ago, he came to town, and I met him, and I did not like my interactions with him, mm. and I think he crossed significant boundaries. He came to town again, and I again did not like how he interacted with my girlfriend mm. or me. Mm. So here's what happened. When I wasn't around, apparently he told my girlfriend he saw her room and she wasn't home. Her sister and her roommates were there at the time. Her? And he looked forward to hanging out with her in there. Oh, my. But that's not all. <laughs> he kept telling me how lucky I was to be with my girlfriend and how I better take care of her. At the time, I thought this was weird of him to say, but ignored it because I thought he was a close friend of hers. He kept telling my girlfriend how she needs to hang out at his parents' pool oh. and how his parents think she's the most amazing person. Oh. He kept bragging about how much money he makes and his nice apartment in the other city he lives in. <laughs> now, this time around, when we ran into him somewhere and while we make small talk, he again tells my girlfriend how much his parents liked her and how they wanted to see her again says we should most go hang out at his parents' big house and pool. Big house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, when it's just him and I, he starts bragging about his job and his apartment and asks me how much money I make. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I think this guy is a prick. <laughs> me too, sir. <laughs> me too. And he is obviously trying to hit on my girlfriend and is disrespectful to me. I told my girlfriend she should try to not hang out with this person, especially when I will be out of town for two months, sir. <laughs> sir. Let me finish reading your letter because I got a lot to tell you, sir. She said that because he's her sister's friend, y'all remember this in the beginning, and her sister and her are roommates, it's going to be difficult to avoid him and that I should trust her. She also says she doesn't like the fact that I want to put restrictions on her. I tell her I understand they can bump into each other, but I don't understand. Bump. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why she wouldn't Word. at least try to avoid someone that crosses boundaries and is disrespectful to our relationship and me. Additionally, it doesn't give me confidence that she knows how to set and enforce boundaries with people. And that worries me for when I'll be gone in the summer. Am I wrong to demand this of her and be concerned? I'm seriously thinking about breaking up with her over this. <laughs> I need to know. Ooh, that's a lot, sir. Now, now I got oh, my opinions, I, but I'm, I'm gonna let you go first, EJ. I'm, I'm gonna let uh, you handle this. I'm gonna let uh, you have it. Wait, first of all, is, is this person asking should he should he break up, or is he asking like should he have these boundaries? I think he's asking all of the above. The, the okay. last sentence is, "Am I wrong to make this demand of her and be concerned?" And I'm seriously thinking about breaking up with her over this. Okay, so the first question is, why do you feel like there should be boundaries, like? why what 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 are you feeling 
because you got to do the mirror work first. What are you feeling mm-hmm. that you feel that that this person is a threat? Because if you handling your business, it don't matter who come, you know, it don't matter who could come in the house. If you handling your business, you taking care of your woman, then it don't matter who comes in the house. And second of all, if you go, if you break up with her, then you just giving up. Are you just going to give up? No. Okay. Okay. That, I mean, that's my opinion. Okay. Now we now you about to hear the, hear the petty advice. Uh oh, <laughs> sir, this is what you do. First, you tell her, and you got to, you got to say it from your chest. Look here. Now I know that's your girl, your 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 girl, your roommate's brother, but I'm not feeling that nigga. Say, oh. it, say it from you. I'm not feeling that nigga from the chest. From your chest. Oh gosh. Now I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but I'm telling you how I feel. Uh-huh. So if you respect me and how I feel, uh-huh. then you're going to check yourself and you're going to check your boy. Now, he's been, he been disrespectful. He's been saying stuff out the side of his mouth. Uh-huh. So if you don't want me to get actionary. <laughs> That's so aggressive, George. <laughs> if you don't want me to get actionary, <laughs> you're going to need to tell him something. Right now, that's how I would handle it. That's how you would handle it. Because what you're not gonna do is come in my space. But that's not his space. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm with my girlfriend, uh huh, and you come in to visit, you're in my space. Uh. We're sharing space together. What you're not gonna do is be disrespectful. Now you have seen him. Now, the, now that's your job, sir, to say it from your chest on how you feel to your girlfriend. From the chest. From your chest. Yeah. Don't don't say it. All. You know, I, I I feel like you don't understand. No no no. Say it from uh, your say chest. Say it from your chest. I don't like that Negro. Like Tarzan. Duh. And he been disrespectful, uh. right? <laughs> and you go down the list of disrespect because maybe she didn't catch it like you caught it. Mm. Maybe she didn't hear it like you heard. Oh, it. she caught it and she heard it. But but you gonna need to repeat it. <laughs> so what you do is you go down that list that you just listed for us, sir. Uh-huh. And say, hey, on this date he said this and this and this and this this. I'm a dude. Uh-huh. I know what he's saying. You, as a girl, uh-huh. you might not feel it. You might uh-huh. not receive it that way. That's your girlfriend's roommate. So, oh, he just yada, yada, yada. But as a man, I feel it different. Uh huh. And I know what he's trying to do. So you need to check your friend. So when mm-hmm. he says stuff like that, you ain't got to stop being around him, but you need to check him. That's not cool. Don't say that no more. I'm not fit. You disrespecting my man. That's not cool. Maybe that's she him. don't want to say that. Clearly, but, she don't oh, want to say that. I was getting to that. <laughs> I was getting to that. I was getting to that. Okay. So now when you tell her and she gives you the 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 response, oh he my he's just a friend. You tripping. You can't tell me who to be your friends with. And you're right. That's when. You're absolutely I cannot tell you what to do. But what I can tell you what I'm not gonna do is allow this Negro to be in my space and disrespect me. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to allow him to keep trying to check me about his house and his job and how much money he makes and saying these <laughs> are we what I'm not gonna do. So you ain't gotta you ain't got to change nothing, but I'm telling you what I'm going to do if you don't address it. That's warning. That's in the end, period. Uh, uh, That's it. Mm, That's it. On period. <laughs> and what? Say something. And, and then she going to say, why are you being so insecure? No, I, I, this conversation is done. <laughs> I've, ex- I've explained it to you. I'm not going to go around in circles with you. Uh-huh. I'm telling you where I'm coming from. We're from my chest, in love, yeah. in a space to just me and you. I'm not saying in front of your friend. I'm telling you. So if you can't address it like a woman, that's a wrap. I'm going to deal with it like a man. Uh-huh. Oh, Shonda behind the kill myself. <laughs> and then what? And the- you going to be up in there fighting the dude? Uh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You just no, going to no. walk away? Oh, no, no. Walk away. Yeah. Because it, here's the thing. If you cannot respect my my boundaries, mm-hmm. you, my girlfriend, because he don't he don't have to respect it. But, but how can he set boundaries in somebody else's house? No, 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 no. That ain't his house. No, no, no. no. But here's the thing: I'm not setting boundaries in the house. I'm setting boundaries of our of our relationship. Oh. Okay. And the things he's saying out of his mouth are disrespectful. How, what's disrespectful though? You you better watch your girl. You better take care of her. He just telling her he nah, got a fine woman, man. Now, D, now, EJ, you know how we work. You know, you know what he doing. Oh, I know what he doing. You know what he I doing. I know what he did already did. Right. Now, oh, and this is what I forgot to sir. Them two months you out of town, oh, they going to get it. Uh, the, he already got it. What you talking mm. about? How you think he know how her room looks? Mm. Are you kidding me? Mm. <laughs> so, in conclusion. In conclusion, <laughs> that's a wrap. <laughs> In conclusion, sir, you might just want to say goodbye early. Just, yeah. Just, just or or he might want to go ahead and propose to her if she mean that much Hell and go no. ahead and get married nah. and, and go on the move. Because he can't call no shots and, and, and they don't live together. You know, you got a point. 
That, that, that's not his house. Yo, you got you do have the, you do have a point there. So handle your business. If this is somebody you want to be with, go ahead and marry her or move her in or what you know whatever y'all boundaries are. Mm. Then you ain't got to worry about that. Okay, I, I'll add that to the to the. I'm still want to be petty as shit. <laughs> that's because you petty, yeah, George. Just, I'm, <laughs> at five fifty, we don't play that. <laughs> oh 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 he got oh he got something to say oh oh, oh he got some stuff to say to Sly. Uh-huh. Now, I'm a, I would go now this because this is what I would do with my husband. No, real talk, real talk. Real, uh-huh. I love my husband to death. Uh-huh. But if What'd somebody's saying some slick stuff on the side, y'all know how we do. What you gonna do, George? I'ma check him. Uh-huh. Your husband? Yes. Uh-huh. Husband. Uh-huh. Look here. Old boy saying such and such and such and so and so and so and so. Got one more yeah, time. Yeah. Now, I'ma let you know how I'm feeling about it. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to check him. And if you don't check him, I'm gonna check both of y'all together. Oh, because that's how I do it. Five fifty. That don't sound like that's gonna end nicely. And your point is, <laughs> <laughs> do I sound like I'm scared? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if I help you with this with this advice there or not, sir. That's how that's how I would deal with it. Now, you do what you will. If you just want to sit there and be a punk, oh, <laughs> George, a p o n k. P O. You want to be a punk? Then you go ahead and be a punk. <laughs> but I would deal with it. say it from your damn chest. I think he should go to church and pray about it. She, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, I'd be like Sophia. Uh oh, what's Sophia <laughs> gonna do? <laughs> you better bash Mister's head in and think about heaven later. <laughs> Shit. I, I ain't then put, he gonna be in jail. And think about heaven later. <laughs> but Mister gonna understand. How this gonna go? Mister gonna be up in in his girlfriend room while he in jail with a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tell us what you think about this advice today. We'd love to know what you think. We're gonna be back. We're gonna have a, another conversation with EJ. Thank you for helping me, sir. Hey, it's <laughs> my pleasure. Hey, 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 look, look. If you got a letter you want to write to us, write to us at weru radio at gmail dot com and in the subject line, write scenarios and situations because it's what we do, boo, sir. Say it from your chest. Chest. I plan with a nickel. Download the We Are You Radio app available now in your device's store.